Hi everybody, I'm Amanda Finks. Welcome to another episode of Easy Recipes, where I show you how to make a simple recipe that your whole family will love. Today I'm making chicken pesto pasta. Store-bought pesto is such a great ingredient for making quick cooking meals because it's loaded with tons of flavor. Pesto is full of basil, Parmesan cheese, garlic, olive oil, and toasted pine nuts. For this recipe, we're using pesto to coat chunks of chicken and penne pasta. We're gonna have dinner on the table in under 20 minutes. Let's get started. I'll start by boiling eight ounces of penne pasta. That's half of a one pound box. While the pasta cooks, I'll get started on my chicken. I'm using one pound of boneless, skinless chicken breasts. Chop the chicken into bite-sized chunks. Place a large nonstick skillet over medium-high heat and add a tablespoon of olive oil. Let the oil heat up for about two minutes and then add the chicken to the skillet. To the chicken, add one teaspoon of Italian seasoning, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of ground black pepper. Give us a good stir to get the chicken evenly coated in the seasoning and oil. Let the chicken cook for about six to eight minutes until it's cooked through. Give it a good stir every once in a while so that the chicken cooks evenly. Once the chicken is cooked, remove the skillet from the heat. The pasta is done cooking now, so it's time to drain off the water. But before I do, I'll scoop out a quarter cup of the starchy cooking liquid. Add the drained pasta to the skillet with the chicken, along with three quarters of a cup of basil pesto. I'm using store-bought pesto for this because it makes it such a quick and easy recipe, but you could also use homemade pesto if you have it. Stir this up until everything is well coated in pesto. Now if you think the pesto looks a little dry, you can add some of the reserved starchy cooking liquid to help loosen up the sauce. The pasta and chicken are loaded with so much flavor from the basil and parmesan, and it's such an easy recipe, you're gonna love it. Be sure to follow me to catch the next episode of Easy Recipes. Thanks for watching.